Hey, what's going on everybody? And a warm, probably cold welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And it is a snowy Sunday here, and we have another store hall video for you. So let's go inside and see if we can do the five bourbon challenge for under $200. You know the drill, run that video. Okay folks, and we are inside Costco. And if you're someone who just enjoys watching Costco videos and you haven't seen any of our other videos, go over and check them out. We've already done some of these store hall style videos. So just looking to begin with, even though we're trying to do five bourbons for under $200, the Reddit challenge, I think we might have to switch this up for five whiskies because there's not much selection here. But what Costco does a really good job at getting the best prices for the selection that they have. So let's go find out what they do have. And just to remind ourselves, we need a daily drinker. We need a cheap mixer. We need a Friday night pour. We need something to impress our guests and we need something special. So let's go and look at the shelves and see what we can find. So this is the main whiskey aisle in Costco. We're at the Thornton one in Colorado. And as you can see, it's mainly on the left and it's also mainly on the right here. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. So straight off the bat there, this is really interesting whiskey. And I guess you can't technically call that. This is Cascade Moon tennis, from Tennessee, a 15 year old whiskey for 19.99. But as you can see here, this is called uh, a spirit distilled from grain. They can't call it a whiskey because it's 39.9% alcohol, just under the 40% that you can illegally call a whiskey. This is a 15 year old barrel proof. I'm told that it is whiskey, but again, it just didn't hit that mark. For $99.99, that probably definitely is off our plate. Uh, we have some Woodford Reserve over here. This is a 1.75 litre, so this is the big guy. Uh, so if you think about a 750 milliliter bottle, it'll probably be coming in less than $30. So we're trying to think of a daily drinker here. And the thing is with Costco, everything comes in bigger sizes. As you can see, this Elijah Craig, 1.75 liter. If they had the regular size ones, it could definitely work as a daily drinker. Bullet and some maker's mark. But I think I've landed on something for a daily drinker, and that is George Dickel eight year bourbon. If you're someone who hasn't tried this bourbon yet, it really falls in line with those classic bourbon notes, and it doesn't have much of that uh, George Dickel profile that I know a lot of people are not big fans of. And for $25.99 for an aged eight year bourbon, I think we cannot go wrong for a daily drinker. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take this and we're going to add it to the cart here, and then next up, we're going to look for a cheap and inexpensive mix up. I'm very happy with. We're able to find this for that low low price of $25.99. So I'm thinking about maybe for a cheap and inexpensive mixer this Jack Daniels 1.75 liter Tennessee whiskey but I'm not sure you folks would be able to forgive me on that and as I was looking down here uh, I saw some Crown Royale this $41.89 for 1.75 liter as well again the big boys and I was thinking about that too but then I thought, hell, why am I doing this to myself? Well, for a cheap and inexpensive mix, I can get this bad boy, the Kirkland Signature Canadian Whiskey, $18.99 for a 1.75 liter. So in the Costco world, a lot of people say this is made by Crown Royale. I've never tried it. It is 40% or 80 proof, but it is aged six years as well. So again, a six year Canadian whiskey for $18.99 for 1.75 liter. For me, this is just a no brainer. And for a cheap and inexpensive mixer, we're gonna get this. Hey, think Crown and Coke and all that fun stuff as well. So this is going in the basket. So next up, when we are looking for a Friday night pour, we have some pretty interesting bottles over here. We have the Angel's Envy Finish Rye, and that is a phenomenal price for this bottle because it's usually marked up to like 100 bucks. Um, I haven't tried this before, but I hear really, really great things about it. And as you can see there, it's right whiskey finished in Caribbean rum casks, 50% alcohol or 100 proof. And then if we look over here, we also have the Whistle Pig 12 year rye whiskey out of Vermont. This is the old world wine cask finish rye, but I think that price is a little too hefty for a Friday night pour. Also as well, very old St. Nick. You're not gonna find it anywhere cheaper than $139. But I hear not great things about this bottle. And we were just talking about this in whiskeys to look out for month here. And then also got some Kentucky Owl 10 here rye for $150. Phenomenal price for a 10 year rye. I hear good stuff about that, but I'm not going to get that because again, that's a little bit too much in price for a Friday night pour. And then we found one of my favorite whiskeys from 2022. That is the Jack Daniels Bonded for an absolute bottom dollar of $27.99. I normally like to go for something a little bit more proof forward for a Friday night pour. This is 100 proof or 50% ABV. This is a 700 mil bottle. But for that price of the Jesus inside that bottle, we're definitely going to get that as a Friday night pour. And so far we are looking really good on our budget. Folks, I feel like we need to do a little bit of math here because that 
that Canadian whiskey was a 1.75 litre, so we need to know exactly what our budget is going into these lost two bottles. So the Canadian bottle worked out for 1.75 litre bottles at 18.99, but for a 750, it was $8.14. For then the Dickel bourbon over there, that was 25.99, and then for the Bondage Jack Daniels, that was 27.99, giving us a budget or giving us a balance of $62.12. So that leaves us with about $138 for the last two bottles, which is something to impress our guests and something special. And I've seen a lot of good bottles of whiskeys here, so I'm probably not going to need to go into Scotch and Irish, and they do have some really good deals on that stuff. But I'm just going to try and stick to bourbon, rye, or um, uh, Tennessee whiskey, which is what we've kind of already done, and actually some Canadian as well because we did that already. We have some really interesting bottles here to impress our guests. None other than Screwball right here. One, point, uh, one litre for $29.99. Of course, I'm just kidding with this one. But that's actually really a fun whiskey to put in an old-fashioned if you're looking for something a little bit different. And I've also seen this Kato, Kato Sitin Creek Ragnarok 92 whiskey. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. It's like Kato Sitin Creek. This is an awesome bottle. Look at the design on this guy here. This is a uh, rye whiskey. This is batch 22, 46% alcohol. Uh, pretty, really, really, really cool artwork there. Don't know too much about the bottle. Has an awesome stopper though, so Blanton's gang might be well in for that. Not gonna get that, because it does come in at $78.99. Some Old Elk over here from Colorado, $74.99. Most of the stuff that Old Elk do is sourced from MGP. This is aged five years, so they might have some of their own distillate in there as well. Also could have some of the Wild Turkey Rare Breed, $54.99 for Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye is an excellent value. Coming in at 112.2 proof, which is barrel proof rye, that would definitely be a great whiskey to impress our guests. But you know me and you know the channel well if you've watched many of these videos. And this Sagamore Rye, double oaked. Look, coming in at $47.99 for this bottle of whiskey is an insane value for money. And that's why I'm going to get this bottle to impress my guests. Because they might not have tried this, but they might be hearing some really good stuff about Sagamore lately. And as soon as they try this, they'll fall in love with it. So this is coming in at 48.3% alcohol, or 96.6 proof there. And I'm going to get this, I'm going to put this in the cart, and then we just have one more bottle to find. And that is something special. So I'm just thinking about our budget here. We probably have about $90 or so to get something really special and I think they have a couple of candidates here at Costco so let's take a little look around to see what we can find and see if something falls in that category there. But Costco has this kind of like uh, glass section here where they normally put some of the more expensive stuff. There isn't any bourbon in here today but occasionally you'll see maybe like a Blanton's or something allocated. I haven't been lucky enough to find them. Uh, they also have like Muckley Mucks 26 year for $250. If anybody knows this scotch whiskey they know that that is a hell of a price for the 26 year. But I'm just going to swing around to this side because there's a couple of contenders here. There's a Kentucky Owl Bourbon limited release and this is the St. Paddy's Day release. As you can see, they still have it from last St. Patrick's Day and they'll probably sell out if they come in this St. Patrick's Day. So this is their release number one, coming in at 100 proof of 50% alcohol by volume. It's not too expensive for Kentucky Owl if you think about it because Kentucky Owl products usually sell 100 plus 200 so this is a pretty affordable one but i don't think i'm gonna get that there's some other stuff here that i'm kind of thinking about uh, you have this 291 out of colorado springs here i just bought a bottle of their colorado bourbon rye finish in Aben, uh, aspen stage and maple syrup but i haven't tried the one i have yet uh, so I want to try that first before I spend any money on this 21, but I know that's an excellent price for $74.99 because usually these run $100. Jefferson's Reserve Twin Oak Bourbon from Kentucky. So this is their very rare release. It's coming in at 45.1% alcohol and 90 proof. I haven't tried much of Jefferson's Reserve or Jefferson's Ocean for that matter. Um, I think it can be a little bit gimmicky, but it might be your thing. So this could be the bottle for you and for $69.99, that's really cheap. Also, they have Noah's Mill. $59.99. I have tried this whiskey and this whiskey is fantastic. Coming out of Willet Distillery there in Bardstown, Kentucky. Not similar to the Willet Pot Still that they have. This is completely different and this is actually really, really great whiskey. This is a special whiskey, but we can definitely do better than that even though the price is right. And then you might have already seen this and this is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Not only is it a personal collection from the Master Distiller, it's coming in at 65.5% ABV of 131 proof. If you can find these and you can find them for over 65%, then you are on for a winner. And guess what the price is? $59.99. So we are definitely going to get one of these because, let's be honest, this is a very special bottle. If I can just pull it out here, it should have like a cool little tag on it as well. There you go. Look at that. 
especially selected for Colorado. You have some friends over, oh, this is a special occasion. You get this bottle out right here and everybody's gonna enjoy it. And it's a really great bottle for celebrating stuff. It has a picture of the barrel on the back there. And again, as you can see, 65.5%. So that was something special. Okay, folks, then just to recap the five bottles of whiskey that we got today. So first up, we went with a daily sipper, which was George Dickel Bot Bourbon, aged eight years. And this is a fantastic sipping whiskey. And this is $25.99. Next up, we needed a cheap and an inexpensive mixer. We went with Kirkland Canadian Blended, six year. So for the 1.75 liter bottle, this was coming in at like $18.99. Uh, we got this, well, we're gonna count it as a 750 milliliter bottle for $8.14, which is, you're not going to get a cheap mixer than that. Think like Crown and Coke. This will be really useful for that. Next up, we wanted to get a Friday night pull. And you know me, guys, Jack Daniel Bonded is just out of this world. And we managed to get this for $27.99, which is a phenomenal price. And then next up, we had something to impress our guests. And anybody who hasn't tried Sagamo Spurs Double Oak, I can't say enough good things about it. And this had the first place for Whiskey Coke 2022 Best Whiskey of the Year. And we had this for the low, low price of $47.99, which is great value for money. And then lastly, we needed something a little bit special and we looked no further than went back to Jack Daniels again. We went with a barrel proof single barrel pick. This is a Colorado single barrel select coming in at 65% um, alcohol and this was $59.99. So let's go ahead now and do what we always do and then walk through the aisle here at Costco so you can see everything that they have and what the prices are.
All right then, folks, and that's all we have time for today. So we asked the question, could we do the Reddit You Only Need 5 Bourbon Challenge for under $200 at Costco? We definitely did today. Costco surprised me just how cheap some of the alcohol was. I knew it was cheap, but I didn't think it would be that cheap. And as we always say on this channel, as we drink through the world's whiskeys, one glass at a time. Cheers.